I'm going to be asking doctors and healthcare experts from all over the world about what evidence, data that they relied on to make the recommendations, opinions, perspectives that they are providing to the public for any healthcare topic. Hey, Dr. Drew, welcome to Show Me the Evidence. Thanks for coming on the show today. For those who don't know, Dr. Drew is my attending during my internal medicine residency program, and he's going to tell us about his medical situation today. So, Dr. Drew, take it away. Tell us what's going on. So, as I said, I have cancer. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, like millions of men, about two years ago. I had my prostate removed in July. My interpretation led to a normal PSA, by the way, ultimately having a prostate biopsy done because of my doctor's intuition and instinct. I went on an active surveillance program. That is really why I feel it's so important to talk about this. You just got diagnosed with prostate cancer, the C word, cancer. When people get diagnosed with cancer, including yourself, you worry about survival, dying of the cancer. What data, what patient data did you rely on to make sure that active surveillance would give you the best chances of surviving, not dying of prostate cancer? I thank God that I was a physician and I knew the, the facts. I knew that it was appropriate to be waiting and that 30% of the time it gets better, 30% of the time it stays the same, and 30% of the time it gets worse. That 30% data was interesting, but that is not the patient data that prostate cancer patients would want to look at to figure out which treatment gives them the best chances of surviving with prostate cancer. In our database, we have over 12,000 patients that were given the option of immediate surgery versus active surveillance. And they were followed for anywhere from 10 to 20 years, and they measured what percentage of those patients were still alive or had died of prostate cancer. Let's look at that data. I do appreciate it. There are probably over 10 studies comparing active surveillance to other treatments for prostate cancer, and there's thousands of patients in those studies. That's all the evidence. You need to get all the evidence to make an informed decision. 